reliability, efficiency, practicality. Three characteristics that are desirable in any construction product. But when you're talking about geomembrane applications, these three characteristics take on a whole new significance. The sheer scale of some geomembrane applications underscores this point. Lining canals, reservoirs, and ponds full of millions of gallons of water is serious business. And even on applications that are smaller in scale, the impact of a waterproofing problem can be enormous. When looking for a solution for such a challenge, you must feel confident in the product you choose and the company that manufactures it. Throughout Europe and North America, governments and private and public businesses have chosen Seaplast's Terranap for their most demanding geomembrane applications. For over 35 years, Seaplast has been a leader in the development and manufacture of the world's most advanced waterproofing materials. In the 1960s, working with Shell Chemical of Europe, Seaplast developed styrene butadiene styrene, SBS modified bitumens. We found that by properly modifying asphalt with SBS, we could produce a highly durable elastomeric blend with exceptional elongation and recovery properties over a wide range of temperatures. This technology led to the development of Terranap. Terranap Geomembrane is the high-performance waterproofing solution for irrigation canals, dams, wastewater storage, fountains, reservoirs, potable water storage, and ponds. Terranap is an elastomeric bitumen geomembrane manufactured using this blend of SBS polymer and high-quality asphalt. The asphalt in the blend assumes the elastomeric properties of the SBS, which gives Terranap exceptional elongation and recovery properties in varied climatic conditions. We've been using Terranap in our district for approximately 10 years. We've seen no deterioration of the material over the 10 years due to the heat or extreme temperature changes here that we have. Uh, we see no deterioration of the material itself. It's not rigid and even over time the material has remained flexible. You know it's been a value to our district and we've used it on all of our budget years to uh, address uh, both uh, uh, earthen line canals and old concrete uh, line canals as a, as a viable alternative to uh, going into reusing concrete or other forms of liner. This elastomeric blend is reinforced by two layers of polyester, making Terranap less susceptible to punctures resulting from most common causes. Terranap's thick, non-woven polyester geotextile layer protects against mechanical punctures and enhances the product's flexibility. Terranap's polyester film bottom layer protects the geomembrane from subgrade effects. Ease of installation is a major advantage of Terranap. Because of its flexibility, it can tolerate irregularities in substrates that would damage other geomembranes. So substrate preparation time and expense can be reduced significantly. The prep time is so much less than pouring concrete or prepping everything else for cement. We just set it up on a roller and run down the canal until the whole roll is either off the roller or we're done with a certain length. We could have a 265 foot roll laid out in 15 minutes where it would take hours to be able to lay out concrete in the back of the cement trucks. Tearing up allows you to catch a window of opportunity and complete the job in a timely fashion to meet your budget expectations. Terranap can be applied over both earthen and concrete substrates. This irrigation canal in central California's San Joaquin Valley has a section of each substrate. With earthen subgrades, work begins by cleaning debris from the existing canal and digging a trench on either side of the canal. Concrete substrates are prepared by clearing the existing subgrade of debris and rough excess concrete. Air or water blasting is sometimes necessary to accomplish this. After cleaning, a 12-inch area along the top edge of the canal and at the termination point must be primed to ensure proper adhesion when torching the geomembrane. The four-meter wide rolls of Terranap can be set into position in several different ways. Using a standard backhoe, Terranap can be pulled across the width of the canal. 
With a roll held in place, the material is fastened to a clamping mechanism and then manually pulled off the roll, taken across the canal, and cut to size. The same sheet placement technique can be applied using other construction vehicles, such as this water truck. On canals larger in scale, sheets can be inlapped to achieve the length necessary to span the canal. The size of some irrigation canals allows Terranap to be installed by unrolling the membrane lengthwise rather than across the width of the canal. This technique is extremely efficient and results in fewer seams. Using this technique, the end of the material is again fastened to a clamping mechanism. However, instead of manually pulling the material off the roll, the end of the material is held in position and the roll itself is moved down the canal, unrolling as it goes. The Terranap sheets are walked into place to identify sheets that are positioned or cut incorrectly. Because of its composition, Terranap will quickly relax and conform to the canal's profile. In earthen applications, once the geomembrane is in position, it is fastened in place and secured in the trench using rebar to hold the material until backfilling can be completed. Installation continues with seaming. The torch seaming technique used in Terranap applications results in a welded seam that helps to eliminate leakage. Unlike seaming methods used in other geomembrane applications, torch seaming using a standard propane gas torch does not require special equipment or the use of chemicals and is less sensitive to dirt and other contaminants. Torch seaming is also less sensitive to weather restrictions, making it a practical choice for work that has to be accomplished in winter months. Terranap seams are lapped six inches for smooth subgrades and increased to eight inches for irregular subgrades. Before torching, the selvage tape is removed from the overlapping sheet. Using a round-tipped trowel to lift the overlapping sheet, the torch is moved along the seam evenly with a steady motion. The flame is directed evenly on both sheets. Enough heat is applied to generate a small amount of bleed out at the finished seam. Immediately after torching, the seam is pressed into place using a damp sponge. The seam is finished by applying pressure to its edge with a heated, round-tipped trowel. Underheated Terranap will not be properly seamed. Overheated Terranap will result in excessive running of the modified bitumen blend. Seams should be checked for complete adhesion by probing with a trowel. Poor adhesion due to underheating can be corrected by reheating the area and pressing it into place. In the case of overheating, a strip of Terranap can be torched into place over the affected area. After seaming, earthen Terranap applications are finished by backfilling the trenches along the canal. Concrete Terranap applications are finished using termination bars. Along the top of the canal, the metal termination bar is mechanically attached to the canal wall using mechanical anchors. By evenly distributing the weight of the membrane along the termination bar, this detail eliminates the isolated stress that can be caused by standard mechanical fastening with fasteners and plates. An eight inch flap of Terranap is folded back over the termination bar and torched into place. The cross canal termination should be accomplished by cutting a trench across the width of the canal, tucking the material into the trench and backfilling with concrete in concrete applications or with riprap in earthen applications. In-house maintenance departments can make repairs simply and quickly if Terranap geomembrane is subjected to mechanical damage. Uh, the occasions that we've had uh, for repairs have been due to uh, uh, incidents with landowners disking or, or possibly uh, poked a hole in it with a shovel. The repairs are extremely simple. To repair Terranap, a six inch target is marked around the damaged area and a patch is cut to size. After preheating the damaged area with a propane torch, the patch is torched into place. Running a hot trowel along the edge of the patch finishes the repair. The elastomeric nature of Terranap allows this repair procedure to be used during annual inspections for the service life of the product. Terranap is an innovative geomembrane engineered by the acknowledged industry leader in SBS modified bitumen technology, Seaplast.
Whether you're lining a lateral or moving billions of gallons of water from Northern California to the southern part of the state, Terranap can provide a high-performance solution. Ten years ago, we, we tested all the different uh, lining materials, and at that time, uh, this was the uh, most durable. We still feel today it's the best product for lining canals, both in long-term value, price, and ease of installation. Reliability, efficiency, practicality. Terranap.